Good day. This is Mayor Craig Ford, Mayor's Minute. Uh, thank you and welcome to 2024. Happy New Year. Uh, so I, this, I wanted to have this Mayor's Minute. We hadn't had one because of the holidays. We've had a lot of different things going on. I kind of want to hit the recap, some highlights, and then what's coming. Uh, what a great year, uh, 2023 for City of Gaston. The announcements, Food City, uh, Ultra Safe Nuclear, 250 jobs, uh, uh, the Tropical Smoothie, Whataburger, on and on and on of the things happening in Gaston. I'm so excited. Uh, the Christmas on the Coosa, which generated 135000 uh, re in revenue, which paid for itself, which was a quality of life issue for the people of Gaston. And we had a great time down there with Frosty's, the bar, and the entertainment with Santa, the Grinch, and et cetera. And then the Christmas lights had the largest revenue that we've ever had in the history of the city of Gaston. And, you know, I hate mentioning names because I, you always leave somebody out, but Janet Terrence at the AMP, uh, which stands for the amphitheater, and then Chris Richardson up at the Falls, the job that she does, but not only her, just her employees beneath, all, not beneath, but all under her, of how they just make that wheel turn, uh, how much they love their job and how much they turn it out for the people, basically, because it's amazing. The lights at the Falls generated $1.1.5 million. That's the first time we ever hit over a million dollar mark. And everything else going on, the Gaston State, we cut the ribbon over at Gaston State Phase 3. Uh, we're about to cut the ribbon for Phase 4. Uh, and I may be one phase ahead. I'm not sure there's so many phases going on. But we're letting, uh, we just let the contract for the next phase for the two 200-foot uh, baseball softball fields. And they're going to be turf. Uh, first turf fields we've had in the city of Gaston. Uh, for public use. Uh, so we're excited uh, just what's going on, the changes that are happening. It may, I'm excited. I get excited to get up every morning. I get excited to go to work. I love riding through the college. I love seeing the Memorial Bridge. I'm excited about relocating City Hall. I'm excited about what might be coming here at City Hall. I'm excited about possibly the relocation of Highway 411 where we develop the river. I'm excited about behind the Arby's, the commercial development that we're working on with John Moore. Uh, I'm excited about the land we purchased uh, going towards Cherokee County, uh, what we're talking about and uh, privately about what to do with that area. It's all to make Gaston a better place and the growth that we're seeing in Gaston, cleaning up the river, cutting the trees, trimming trees, working on Broad Street. Uh, it's just, man, it's just great. If you can't tell I'm excited about being here, they tell me I don't smile enough, so I'll smile. I want to just say, man, I'm excited. I'm excited to be your mayor. Uh, what's happening? What's coming up? Uh, well, we're getting our master plan. What is that? Master plan hadn't been done since uh, early 1970s, I think it was. Uh, so we're getting a master plan presented to us uh, sometime mid-February. Uh, mid-February, 1st of March, they backed it up 30 days to make sure it's very comprehensive. Uh, we have gotten the voice from the people, from you, uh, to tell us what you want. Uh, there is one thing that's very, uh, uh, out, it's just outspoken in the master plan of what the people wanted. Uh, so I said, let's go ahead and pull the trigger because y'all know me, I like to hit the gas and I like to go fast. Uh, so, you know, I didn't want to wait on the master plan to tell us when we knew what the master plan was going to tell us. Uh, so we'll be talking about something next week at council meeting, so stay tuned. Uh, we're going to go ahead and enter into an engagement with an architectural firm uh, for a project that will change City of Gaston, in my opinion. Uh, the things that are going to happen in the year 2024, I was sitting there reminiscing in the council meeting uh, today. If you don't watch council meetings, I'd encourage you to watch that one because it talks about about a third of the department heads talked about what they did and what they accomplished and, and everything that went on in the year 2023 and how they all worked together. Uh, but what's going to happen the first year, I was reminiscing, of, wow, we had to come in and, you know, with new leadership comes the changes with whoever the leader is. Uh, I wanted to make sure we paid our employees. We passed the gas and first budget and gave our police, firefighters, and all city employees a decent raise, and we hope to continue to do that with growth. But we also changed a lot of policies. Uh, everybody knows me. I'll pull a trigger when it's needed, and I had to pull a trigger a few times with some city employees that I thought wouldn't, didn't fit my mission or my vision, and, and, we got, and they were happy to retire, and it, we put the right people in place uh, and to be able to move this city forward to have the same vision I have. Uh, so we got all that in place, changed some policies, changed some ordinances, wrapped up some loose ends from the previous administration. 
they wanted us to wrap up, like repaving south, I mean, finishing south 11th, completing the phase at Gazin State, and continuing on the vision of some of the stuff that the previous administration had. But we changed our vision to what we think the people want in our, in our time, and it's been exciting. Uh, so I don't know how else to say it of what's to come, but there's a lot that's going to happen. If we just do one of the, somebody just said, if you just hit a swing the bat and hit a lick of the snake and hit one of the 10, it'll be great. Well, that's not me. I'm going to go for 10 out of 10. I want about 1,000. They said 300 to get you in the Hall of Fame. I want about 1,000. I want to be the first ever to be able to do that with your help. I'm excited. We had the best employees, the best staff, and I look forward to 2024, and I hope you do too. And we're here to serve you, and we look forward to a great year. Happy New Year.